Mental stress is prevalent in this ongoing COVID-19 pandemic due to the isolations, restrictions, and quarantine experienced by nurses. It has brought significant changes since then in their workplace and nature of work. In line with this, it has affected the coping strategies of nurses in dealing with mental stress. Good day to all. We are the Group 3B of BSN 3D from University of St. LaSalle College of Nursing. I am Jeanette Lankin, along with my members, Lester Hardin, Juliana Micaela Laxina, Miguel Uriel Langob, and Athena Andrea Lariosa. We are here to discuss our research entitled, Coping with Mental Stress, Live Experience of Nurses in the Workplace During COVID-19 Pandemic. For the purpose of the study, this study is aimed to explore the lived experiences of nurses in the workplace during the COVID-19 pandemic. This study was chosen by the researchers to know the different factors of stress present in the hospitals and how the nurses cope up with it daily, seeing that mental health issues are rising since the start of this pandemic, most especially to the nurses for the reason that they are the ones highly at risk. This study will not only help the researchers in identifying the coping strategies, but also to understand and recognize the most effective strategy so that it can be utilized by not only nurses, but also other people. This qualitative study particularly made use of a phenomenological approach to collect pertinent data. The phenomenological approach is a type of qualitative research that aims to describe the essence of an event by looking through the viewpoint of individuals who have experienced it directly the moment it occurs. This type of qualitative approach is appropriate for this study with a reason in which the data gathered and used in the study directly focuses on the subjective experiences of the participants and how they understand or interpret it in their point of use. Non-probability sampling Proposive sampling, rather, was used in the study. A total of six registered nurses who graduated from USLS Bacolod were chosen as participants of the study, wherein three participants were from private institutions and three participants were from government-owned institutions. The inclusion criteria include nurses who work in either government or non-government-owned hospitals in Bacolod City and Negros Occidental, and with at least one year of clinical duty experience. For the research instrument, an in-depth interview was utilized using a researcher-made interview guide consisting of semi-structured questions. For the results and discussion, the first theme is demands on time, which explores two sub-themes, lack of manpower and lack of resources. This theme encapsulates each participant's job experiences during the COVID-19 crisis. This is drawn from the responses of the majority of participants with concerns in the lack of resources, which was prevalent in the midst of the pandemic. The interview helped them to express their frustrations when supplies were inadequate and proper care is uncertain for the patient, as well as the nurse's life are jeopardized for not having enough protection in facing the virus. With this, the researchers have realized that the shortages of stock and absence of vaccine at that time bring psychological burden to the nurses. Theme two discusses on stress affecting psychological and physiological conditions. This theme covers responses of the majority of respondents with concerns in the psychological and physiological conditions of the nurses when their physical and emotional capacity is drained out. Moreover, the participants lay their apprehensions when they get worn out and they tend to lose their focus, which results in them not performing their tasks effectively in the workplace. The nurses also shared about the uncontrollable situations due to the physiological strain and psychological weight that makes their job challenging and demanding as it already is, and distracts them in giving their best care service possible. Theme three focuses on supportive family, friends, and colleagues. This theme was based on the gathered responses of most of the participants considered their friends, colleagues, and most especially their family as their main support system. Along with that, stress eating, 
shopping, going to the beach, road trips, hanging out, and talking with friends also had a good impact on the participants to relieve and deal with mental stress. For the fourth and last theme, which is strategies on maintaining mental health, this theme explores four sub-themes, maintaining spiritual awareness, maintaining self-awareness, adapting to boundaries, and focusing on job satisfaction. This theme covers all participants' responses with regards to the coping strategies that they have used during the pandemic to relieve mental stress. Some responses showed maintaining spiritual awareness plays an important role in dealing with stress and has become their most effective coping mechanism. Others would lean on being more self-aware with regards to prioritization of their problems, being able to adapt with activities and limitations of the new normal, and focusing on job satisfaction in order to stay composed and deliver the best quality care to their patient, despite rather problems arising in the workplace. For the inclusion, nurses' job is indeed tough and full of challenges, especially during the pandemic. But these are all overcome through knowing the problem, self-awareness, spirituality, social life, passion, and adaptation to the new normal of the COVID-19 crisis have brought in a human's life. The outcomes of the pandemic had created significant changes in the workplace, particularly in the deficiency of manpower, resources, and self-determination, which developed new coping strategies and improved the old ones. With this, it opened a new set of skills for the nurses in adapting to this new normal, which showcased their ability to be flexible in any circumstance and become tech-savvy. The pandemic certainly had impactful changes to nurses, especially in facing problems, but this has molded new, enhanced ways in coping with mental stress during this depressing crisis. For the recommendations to achieve the best outcomes of this research journey, the team would like to recommend the following. Nursing service administrators come up with the best remedy how to lessen the stress and burnout of every nurse in every hospital institution. Registered nurses should explore more coping mechanisms to support and manage mental health and prevent stresses and burnouts. Student nurses must be aware of the real scenarios that are happening in the hospital, even with or without a crisis. Future researchers should conduct separate investigations into the significant effects of coping strategies after the pandemic in their behavior in the hospital and how they nurture these to carry on with work without jeopardizing one's mental health. And that concludes our presentation. Thank you for listening.